I am Reverend Spaceman. I am Jordan. That's that's a that's gonna be hard to pronounce. I feel sorry for you listeners who want to make what it's not hard. Podcasts. Just Jordan. I mean, it's true. I guess it's a little easier than Reverend Spaceman. Your boss ass version of <laughs> Reverend Spaceman. Second best character in that movie. <laughs> this is <laughs> This is the toy aisle. Mm, toy aisle. Yeah, I'll, t- I'll, I'll take it. Acceptable. That's, that's not my best thing. work, but uh, it's good. you put me on the spot. It, yeah, it's good. Again. I do it every time. How many episodes are we in? We're, we got to be getting close to number 10, right? I think this is six like or seven. 200. I think this is six. Okay, cool. Or 200. One of those. Happy New Year. Yeah. First one recorded and I believe released at the new year because I think I got, or maybe I got the new last one out like just after. But yeah, yeah, that was a fun little tribute episode. Yeah, personally, probably my favorite one. Again. Yes, bittersweet. Yeah, yeah. Now we're back in the groove of things, still focusing kind of on the Star Wars slash Rogue One kick we're on. Yeah, last pro- like one hundred percent Star Wars yes. episode. <clears throat> I mean, we'll get into some other news here and oh, there, yeah. but more of our featured collections will be Star Wars again. Yeah, and, you know, stuff that we've bought and gonna yeah. buy. The huge. The, yeah. The typical rundown that we do. And for those of you who are first joining us, this is the toy aisle. Yes, thank you we, all. We discuss our hobby and collecting toys and action figures and merchandise and such. It's actually looking to be a good year for movies with toy themes. Yes. That will actually have some NECA is going to be producing Blade Runner things. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, yeah. Because we never had Blade Runner toys in the 80s, which is understandable then. Yeah, it's not really a merchandise type movie. No, but where it's become such a cult classic now, it it makes sense because... They've Absolutely. done Terminator, they've done Rocky, Rambo. It just fits into the NECA oh, yeah, line it's act, things. You know, it's perfect. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully they can start putting those out in the summer. I doubt they will. They'll probably display them at like the toy fairs this summer. and Maybe oh, yeah. maybe early winter slash spring. <clears throat> and then wait another four or five months and yeah. do like some San Diego Comic Con exclusives. Yeah. And then some of those might be available come August, September, and, and lead up to the October release, but I'm actually looking forward to that. Might be my number one, actually. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, the movie just, or the toys are both. Yeah. Uh, the movie, after Star Wars, of course. Yes. Because it just looks like it could be amazing. It could be. Judging from the little trailer we saw and just who all is involved and behind it. Like we said on our retro reviews on Pasty Pale if of Blade Runner. Posted. If it, whenever it is posted. In the vault. Check that out. If it's there. If it's there, if not, (laughs) message Jake and tell him to get it on there. Yeah, harass him viciously. Yes. I do it all the time. It's fun. (laughs) You do? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you were, so you're the guy who got him that blue cheese? Yeah. That That was was you. Man, he was, he was really I couldn't remember if it was me or Dave. (laughs) Yeah, I I guess it was you after all. Yeah. Oh. It made him think it was like liquor or something put in the brown yeah. bag or anything. <laughs> and he kept it. That was quite a troll move. I liked it. It was a magical evening. Yes. <laughs> anyway, what do we got? Um, recent purchases. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Go for it. All right. Your, yours are better. All right. <laughs> well, I got the, uh, to go in line with my Bandai Darth Vader model kit, I got the Bandai Death Trooper model kit. Woohoo! Um, pretty much the same type of build as the Vader. Same, more a lot of the same processes. Uh, no, same pieces, obviously. But I did notice when putting this one together, there is a lot of similarities in like the outfits between like the Death Trooper and Vader. You got like the same belt. Now funny. he's on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking. About. Yeah, the belt, the cod piece, kind of similar. I don't this want to do any more damage <laughs> to it. <laughs> nah, these are, they're fairly durable. Yeah, fuck it. Here's just, I'll just sit there for now. 
Um, a little bit of similarity in the gauntlets, like they've got the ridges on them. Yep. Obviously different in Vader. And, um, yeah, it's just, like I said in our last video, it's just a cool looking black colored stormtrooper armor. Comes with his long rifle as well as his pistol. And there's a shorter rifle that I just don't have attached to him because I don't have anywhere to put it. Mm -hmm. uh, the eyes, you can kind of tell they're a bit of a very dark shade of green. Actually added like a okay yeah it's very it's very like very very dark shade. You of have green. to have your trademark in there somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> well they they came like that yeah. actually, but I took a silver sharp and kind of colored them behind them to make them just slightly mm -hmm. more visible. And um, yeah, very articulated, you know, great pose. It comes with a stand that can hook to any other uh, Star Wars Bandai stand. As you can see, I've got it yep. hooked up to the Vader one. The helmet looks the best out of any Death Trooper in this scale that I've seen. I mean, I, I haven't gotten any open out of the box and looked at it, but just comparing to, like, the Black Series and the Elite Series, it looks like it came right out of the movie and just shrunk down. And, um, yeah, it's... In some ways, I like it more than the Vader because I didn't have to modify it any. Like, I like... The look of the Vader one and the, the character. Well, Vader, yeah, the, the the cape with the Vader was the the main yeah, issue. Yeah, it was, and I was able to you know make my own. But some people don't have the skill to cut or the cloth like that. Or time. Yeah, so I can see like just objectively as a kid. Yes, this one with, might be a yeah. Without one. having to modify and yeah. you know put your spin on it, the the Death Trooper was yeah it's better, a, a superior just objective. Yes. But you know. Vader's a more popular character, obviously. Oh, of course, and he's going to sell more. Yeah. Even though I would, I don't know the numbers, obviously, but I would bet in terms of Rogue One merchandise, this Death Troopers oh, yeah. been rising or one of the top because I know on Force Friday, the only uh, Black Series figure I, I have six inches from this line is the Death Trooper. Nice. And I, it's, you can find them now. They're easier to find, but on that initial... Force Friday run, they were already going like 35 on eBay, just because that's wow. that's what the collectors were wanting. And I was actually at a Walmart, couldn't find any of the three and three quarters, like I told you in one of the early episodes. Uh, one guy I was talking to, we were both kind of talking about how yeah. nothing's available, and he had, a, he had <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he had an extra Death Trooper that he that he gave me. Oh, nice. He had like two or three more, but he was like a hardcore. Yeah. Unbox one, keep one in the box, <laughs> sell two on eBay type. But makes sense. Yeah, I was because he he was actually telling me he's like, yeah, they're thirty five or forty on eBay right now. Go ahead and take one, man. I was like, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> but uh, that would have been my first pick anyway of the Rogue One just because it looks awesome. Yeah, it's a bit of like a a Boba Fett type, Boba Fett yeah. type phasma. Like it's a very because I mean they're not even in the movie much. Really? Yeah, like maybe less than ten minutes of screen time. Oh, yeah. with Death Troopers in it, but they just look so cool. Yes. And you have to have it. Yeah, and when they do show up, they are effective. Like, yeah. When you know when they step on the screen, you know, okay, these aren't your buckethead stormtroopers. You should no. probably like not get killed. They're actually intimidating. Yeah, even more so than the first order stormtroopers. Yeah. I think. Oh, for sure. I wouldn't argue that a bit. Yeah, and they got this like weird language that they speak to each other. Yeah. So you don't know what they're saying, but you just know it's not good. Yeah, I'm glad the movie added that new. Type of stormtrooper esque. I'm hoping to see them in possibly more spin off movies. Maybe, maybe like between saga movies type ones. Like maybe. One between, if, yeah, they, maybe. if they set one between, you know, four and five, and, see them popping up and judging by how, Rebels. yeah, judging by how good the Elite series is, I'm sure that Death Troopers, you know, top notch as well. Oh, yeah. So I, to, I might have to check that one out too. Yeah, it might be the next <laughs> Elite series for you. It just might be. <laughs> And then um, my other purchase is the Kotobukiya uh, MSG Modeling Support Goods Gimmick LED Sword. In other words, in, in layman's You said terms, that from memory, right? Yeah, I wasn't looking at this Amazon order from the green one that I also That's ordered. That's impressive. <laughs> in layman's terms, it's a lightsaber to scale with, you know, the Black Series... Uh, six-inch figures that lights up. Yeah. 
as displayed on your Instagram. Yeah, several pictures. At, at Reverend, Reverend Space, Space Man. Man. Said that kind of in unison. Yeah. There we go. One more time. One, two, three. At, at Reverend, Reverend Space, Space Man. Man. There we go. 62 followers kind of floating around. And counting now after this, this yeah. video is posted. Kind of keeps going up and down because the porn bots keep like following me and getting <laughs> if erased. If they could just stay <laughs> not erased. Yeah, just stay around, you know. Stay around. Do that one finger challenge. You know about that? Uh-uh. It's, uh, you should, you should Google it. It's basically just a way for people to post nudes without posting nudes. <laughs> <laughs> what will they think of next? I can't imagine it getting any more, like, nude than the one finger challenge. Two finger challenge? That would be, that would be less. <laughs> <laughs> the string challenge. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, the light up, <laughs> this light up lightsaber. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're talking about toys or something. Uh, oh, yeah, the lightsaber's still lighting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The, it's built for, like, it's kind of built with Gundams and, like, robots in mind. Because the handle is actually smaller than it is here. I've wrapped it in uh, yeah. electrical tape. Uh, method recommended by the Foosh. The Foosh? The Foosh. guy that makes pretty badass toy reviews. Um... And he, a lot of the stuff I bought has been recommended by watching his reviews, this included. It uh, basically just makes it thick enough for Vader to hold in his hand easy. The only thing is, obviously, it doesn't really resemble any given lightsaber. It's just kind of the generic. Yeah, that still looks know. cool, though. Yeah, it looks cool in pictures and yeah, just to see. Just, you know, just the, the light up and then yeah, when you turn, out, turn off the lights, it's just going to be an awesome pose oh, yeah. for the figure. Yeah, the effect of like the only thing lighting him up. Like that scene in Rogue One, yes. which really was what you know pushed me over the edge to buy this. Yeah. Just seeing you know the dark just comes hallway, right and then just the that's the only light source. <sighs> it just looks so cool. Like the features of his mask only illuminated by that yeah. glowing red. And that comes with eight different possible blades. There are basically two types and just in four different colors. You've got the lightsaber one, and then you've got the more Gundam-like one. It's got, like, a bulge at the bottom, and it yeah. comes up to a pointy tip. <laughs> yeah, sounds that out normal. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> each of those, you get the standard clear, an opaque clear, and then a transparent red and an opaque red. And it just gives a different kind of lighting effect. Right now, I've got the opaque red in. It kind of disperses the light more evenly. But if you're going to do, you know, a lights out one, then the uh, transparent clear one actually works really well. Because nice. you just get more light going through. I know, um, I think this spring, I want to say, they're releasing an Anakin Skywalker Bandai kit. Do you Ooh. hear about that? Is it figure arts or like a kit? Uh, I don't remember. I just remember reading about something Bandai, Anakin Skywalker. I mean, either, either way, like... I probably Attack of the Clones. Yeah. So I might actually pick that one up. Yeah, because Bandai knows their shit with Star Wars. Yeah. Like, for the more non-human, you know, guy wearing a mask or robotic type characters, the model kits are brilliant. They yeah. haven't done any, like, human characters with an actual human face in the model kit yet. Mm hmm But for that, they do the figure arts. Yeah, I knew. Those are... I knew. It's, it's probably what that is, but I remember yeah. reading a couple of weeks ago and... Trying to see if they were having pre-sales yet, but they aren't. So they're actually expecting it to be quite popular. Which, surprisingly, is as much hate as Anakin from Attack of the Clones gets. His toys yeah, actually sell. Like, the, the Elite series I have of him before they did the... Before they came out with more, like when it was just on the the initial first run, they were going for 100 bucks. Wow. And the, the Black series, three and three quarter, the first wave I bought last year and it was like 20 and that was cheap yeah. which is why i bought it it's about probably 35 40 maybe God. maybe even like 50 on amazon this is all the tag of the clones era and a couple more three and three quarters i got for 15 20 25 which is cheap yeah for it because there was this vendor at uh, one of the comic cons last year that i just pretty much blew all my savings on <laughs> it happens yeah yeah those, those are Great uh, places for toy collectors. Yeah, which was why I was so surprised to see all the, nearly all of the Attack of the Clones Anakin's that aren't. That's like the worst one. I know. <laughs> I just don't. I couldn't 
figure out why. Yeah. I mean, because they're cool characters, but still, I wouldn't expect them to be as high or. If anything, Revenge of the <laughs> Kind City, of rare. Maybe. Yeah, his are too, but just. Yeah. That's more understandable. Yeah, it's, I mean, maybe it's just because they don't make as much Attack of the Clone. Maybe. It's not everyone's favorite. Yeah. Same with Jar Jar. A lot of Jar Jar figures are. Yeah. Kind of gone up. That aren't. Especially that aren't like Darth Phantom Darth Menace Darth. 99, 2000. I'm talking when they came out like 10 years ago and 5 years ago with like some more toys of his. Yeah. So, Where's our Black Series Jar Jar? I've been waiting. Come on, Disney. For Jar Jar and Kitster. Yeah. Where is Kitster? Where is he? He was hiding been? behind that Christmas tree. <laughs> Someone say wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need Kitster. We need Kitster. We need Jira. Yes. Black series. <laughs> Might be bigger than six inches. Oh. Yeah. And then we need a Jocasta Nu. She has her own figure. It was like a deluxe figure in like O three. Which is kinda rare. In terms of like being thirty, forty bucks. But we need a Jocasta Nu. Yes, and where is Dexter Jetster? I know. Come All on. I have is the the Sago collection one from O two when clones came out. We need something we need bigger. We need we need Dexter. We need Boss Nass. Yes. Jar Jar, obviously. I mean, that's just a given. Yeah. With his red lightsaber. We need a deluxe, a uh, two for one, little Anakin and Watto in Watto shop. Penny! <laughs> hey, come over here, boy. <laughs> what do you think to some kind of Jedi? A little bit of a Black Series, eh? <laughs> what do you know? I'm in a six inch scale, but I'm only like four inches tall. And then get Shmi, too. Yeah. Shmi and Qui Gon together. They gotta be together, you know. Yeah, because Qui Gon's Anakin's father. He is. I mean, there's no disputing that. I mean, there was no father, right? You just you carried him. No, you were yeah. just blacked out. Yeah. <laughs> you just showed up there in your womb, and I was nowhere around when it happened. Yeah. But hey, we are getting a Qui Gon Black series. Ooh. The next wave, I believe. So expect that to be extremely rare as well. Yeah, and then everywhere. Yes. After about a month. or That's three. so annoying yeah. because you just don't know. You have to yeah. go ahead and take the risk online, or which is what we're about to do with Revan. Just about. I'm on the verge of either doing that. I'm still holding out a little bit of hope yeah. for finding one just because it's happened to me before for figures that I've sort of given up on. Like they're always on my list yeah. or like in the back of my head, like maybe it'll be here. Most most likely not. I bet it'll show up once Toys R Us sells out their stock of Rogue One yeah. Black Series. And once they're out of Krennix, out of Death Troopers, they'll start putting out the Revens and the Sabines after I've paid 50 bucks. I know. For the Sabine one is awesome. Yeah, I really want to get that one. I do too. Especially since I've got Kanan, just kind of start building the whole Rebels yes. cast. Which that paint job is perfect for yeah, her. Yeah, that is like way too good for Hasbro. Yeah, like I was telling you, the... Uh, they got voted on a lot of Star Wars podcasts and sites as the best Black Series figure of uh, 2016. I believe it. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, that paint job is glorious. Yeah. It, like, I, I, they had to, like, put more money into that. Yeah, or something. I, guess, I guess we can call this little section our <laughs> hopeful purchases. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. Unrealistic possibly. right now. <laughs> possibly. Yeah. The legends we hear of. Yeah. <laughs> I hear there's a Revan figure, but... Yeah, I've seen it online. I still <laughs> just don't know if it's true. It's true. <laughs> uh, Revan. <laughs> Sabine. Sabine. The paint job. It's purple. Oliver. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah that's... That's pretty much Death, it for me. Death Trooper's killing it. Yeah. We'll continue to kill it, I'm sure. Absolutely. I might even get a second model kit just so I can make the lieutenant, you know, with more, yeah. a lot more stuff on him. Yeah, kind of deck him out a little bit. Yeah. Because he, like, he comes with the parts to build either one. I just felt like building the standard yeah. Death Trooper. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, my I brought a another Elite Series yes. die cast. It's a Darth Maul, which oh. I've had it probably for, you know, six to eight months. Yeah. So it doesn't necessarily qualify under the recent purchases. But in light of the recent Darth Maul news we've been getting. Yes. Thought it might be a little fitting to bring this over, and it's a cool figure just to cool figure, cool have, a, have a little picture display, I guess, when we're talking about it. Yeah. Which we went into detail, I think, last episode about how awesome the 
Disney elites are. Yeah, they're great display pieces. Yeah, like I was saying, I guess on last episode or the one before where this Darth Maul was part of that kind of first wave in 2014 and rose up to 100, 125 bucks. Then once they saw the popularity, re released him back in April, a- April and I snatched him up that first week. Nice. So. Another great figure because yeah. it's Darth Maul, which just makes the the demand, yeah, the demand go up for him. Yeah, and really we, nice detail on the face here. Yeah, as of this recording, in a, probably about a, two weeks, the Darth Maul new comic series will be coming out. Oh yes! So there's a lot of Darth Maul news in a video for the game? good. Yeah, the the video game concept art. Was released from 2011, was, which looked awesome. Yeah, the game like there was even some gameplay footage of it. Yeah, it kind of looked like an Arkham Knight, Arkham like a Batman. Arkham a little bit. Game. Yeah, it looked. Yeah. And um, I believe Walmart is releasing a lot of Rebels Pop exclusive figures Ooh. pretty soon next month, I think. And they're uh, gonna come out with a Darth Maul, the shirtless one, like from Rebels. Yeah. And you know when he's in Clone Wars, so I'm gonna definitely try to pick that up, but. Kind of weird, not not quite twenty, but pushing eighteen years since Phantom Menace and yeah. Darth Maul just seems to grow each year. Yeah, it's like the you know one thing. That, the demand and yeah. is, is at an all time high for him. He's he just he won't go away, and I'm yeah. fine with that. Yeah, he's <laughs> this version of uh, Boba Fett for like the prequels and Pretty much. kind of our generation, I guess. Yeah, because he. Showed up a little bit, was kind of cool, and then like just disappeared. Yeah, forever. it's like okay, we, like there's one. some novels written about him. He, he he'll show up in a comic or two. They'll release some uh, a figure of him at, like every new new toy line. You know, once a year, once every two years. And then, and then it wasn't until like Clone Wars, yeah. where he made his he got like entire big story time comeback dedicated to him. Yeah, this like presumably dead character, and he's like. Got robot legs. No, and stuff. Uh, we can make a lot of money off him. <laughs> Let's bring him back. Well, we didn't see him die. We just saw him get <laughs> cut in half and fall yeah, down. Who knows? He could have been like a magnet and just gone right back together. <laughs> That's probably what the the Lucasfilm meeting was like. Probably. And someone said, "Okay, or we could give him robot <laughs> limbs because that's a thing we already have in this universe." Oh, sounds good right so now. Okay. You really think that's what we need to do? We love you, George. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> we got to. Yeah. A little love hate. He's kind of like hate. he's like our Hasbro. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's a tough love. He's the like, yeah. If Hasbro was a filmmaker, it'd be George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it really would. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit of Michael Bay sprinkling. Oh, of course. For reasons. There's, yeah, there's always some Bay around. Yeah. But it just seems like Darth Maul's here to stay, which. I'm fine with. Yeah. I, I was talking to a, a friend of mine who's a huge Maul fan, and he likes it to an extent. I can he doesn't like to, He doesn't want it to be overfleshed, I guess, because yeah. some of the mystery kind of is what makes him Maul. Yeah. Which is kind of how I feel about Boba Fett. I agree. So. I do hope if we get a movie with him that it is just the Mr. Magoo comedy where he stumbles around the universe and it should be but it won't no he'll be a badass and like capable and yeah like doing stuff the right way and he won't fumble around and accidentally blast himself into a yeah because there was that the debate in uh when they did the 97 re-releases for return of the jedi they were going to have boba fett escape oh yeah his death and they were really close to doing it, but then George didn't want the uh, focus to be taken off what was taking place with Luke fighting, and they, yeah. which I don't think it would have mattered. No, nah. people well, I mean, were gonna look at Boba anyway. Yeah, I mean, and when that scene's over, like I've gone on record saying, Return of the Jedi is not my favorite of the originals. I I still love it. It's yeah, still, it's my it's third still, favorite of the trilogy. Yeah, it's still you know a really good movie, but. You know, after the after they rescue Han, it's kind of just meanders until the confrontation with Vader. So you're, all, you know, that's yeah. If they did that, it probably wouldn't harm it. I mean, 
But they were making way too many changes anyway. Yeah. That just would have caused even more of a debate. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I'm I would vote for no changes, obviously, yeah. over any, or at least go Blade Runner with it. And just release every cut possible. Yeah. Here's the Boba cut. Yeah, instead of or instead of the Han shot first to be Boba survived or Boba didn't survive. Yeah, like, it just it would have I think caused more of more questions than anything than there already are still about him, but. That just that's who I've kind of compared them to always with Boba Fett and Darth Maul, just because how popular they are to really not do anything yeah. on screen at least. I mean, yeah, you know, they have really interesting fight, backstories, yeah. especially Maul, yeah, which but we're starting to get a lot of. A lot of it. It wasn't even in the movie though. He's just this no. guy that shows. No, up in the movie we don't even like, know him. Flips around his double-ended lightsaber and kills Liam Neeson. And yeah. I mean, he was menacing while he did it, but like. He wasn't really a character. Yeah, which so is which is why toy. you said makes the Phantom Menace watchable. Yeah, and the Darth Jar Jar theory. If you watch it with that in mind, it is now Phantom Menace. I love for all <laughs> the other reasons. Yeah. But if we're actually yippee, s- yeah, seriously talking about a good movie, you have to have Darth Maul just to you know, make it bearable. And maybe trim out about half an hour. Yeah, they have like those. Fan edit cuts on YouTube Phantom that actually, edits. yeah, that actually make it watchable. Seem like it could have been really good. I will go ahead and say I'm not particularly mad about midichlorians. That's I know that's a hot button issue, but the way I see it, it doesn't really get. It doesn't. The midichlorians aren't the force; they're just no. a way for us to use it. It's like yeah, and he he had that idea for 20 years yeah, before he, he even used it. Yeah, he was gonna use it eventually. It, it was yeah. always a part of it. He just never found yeah, it. Yeah, Phantom Menace is there. what he could get out that he couldn't do. Mace Windy. I mean, Windu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, everything that he has saved or couldn't find a place to put in the, the planet trilogy, he's on. like, oh, we're going to put it in the planet. We're going to have it yeah. hot and fast for more time. This will work. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I'm father now. I have to make this, we have to make this child friendly. Jar Jar's key to all this. <laughs> Jar Jar game. Yes. Yeah. Darth Maul. No. Yeah. <laughs> what? I mean, Jar Jar already looks like a video game. <laughs> Wait, that was CG? Yeah. Oh. You wouldn't guess it. I mean, they did such a good job of integrating yeah. it into the environment. Like in that one, you know, Ooh. when when they're fighting on the, the Windows XP uh, desktop background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that really was looking real. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need a Jar Jar Elite series. Yes, and Black series. Any everything that's cool that Star Wars is releasing now, Bandai like Figure Elites Arts. and Black series and Bandai's and Twelve Inch Elite and, series. And, yeah, t- <laughs> yeah, everything. <laughs> we just Jar Jar needs to come back if if Maul's gonna be doing what he's doing. Yeah, and then they can. It's only each fair other with their lightsabers that they both have. Yeah, because they're both Sith floors. Yeah. Lord. <laughs> but. Of course. <laughs> yeah. This, which is, I guess, to get back to this, why I brought it. Just because I like it. It's cool. Yeah, it does. It looks good. And my recent purchases are just more Rogue One, three and three quarters. So, yeah. nothing special. Just more of me being a completist. Understandable. So, yeah, I'm kind of waiting to, uh, I've got a few things on the horizon for like bigger things that we can get into later oh, yeah. that aren't necessarily Star Wars. but Yeah, me too. And Star Wars is still going to be the focus. You yeah, can see yours, mine out of the corner of your eye. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll be the next I'm looking episode. forward to that episode. Yeah. Some I'll have foreshadowing. To just, I'll have to go through like literally every piece of that, basically. Yeah, we'll make that like just all exclusive, yeah. <laughs> special. We'll kind of blaze through the recent purchases and then yeah. here it is. All right. Yeah, for sure. That is something to behold. That is, it was, it was a lot of work, and I'll go, ahead, I'll go into details on all of that, and even a few little compromises I had to make in building it. You got through it quickly. I did. Yeah, I'm amazed at myself. But you I deserve I, a pat on the back. Good job. Good job. Thank you. But yeah. Uh, Elite Series Mall. If I come across one, I'll probably pick up one yeah, myself. Yeah, that's a that's a thing when they. Did that kind of that second wave back in the spring. They were there for, you know, a good week or two, but after yeah. that, 
I don't think they were going to get any more in. Like, it was kind of, they displayed a lot and they put a lot out and there was plenty. So if you went, you know, that week or the week after, you were going to, you were guaranteed to get one. But after that, they weren't just going to keep putting them on the shelves like right. they are with 3PO and Ray and Poe, which were impossible to find last year. Now, walk in. It's everywhere. Yeah. Another little collecting pet peeve, but hey. And then that one droid, uh, I didn't recognize him with the red arm. Who was that? The the red guy? Yeah. Red 3PO? Yeah. He, he he was like gold, but he had a red arm. Yeah. I didn't recognize him, but... Yeah. He was... I, I've seen Supposedly him he's like in Rogue One, they say? Maybe. I'll, I saw C-3PO in R2-D2 and Chopper. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's appa- yeah, he's apparently in there for like a brief moment. Which, I guess leads into kind of upcoming potential purchases yeah. i'm gonna try to get more rebels stuff because i've been watching the show i've been caught up on it it's really good i don't think i'm it's as good as clone wars yet but it's gotten progressively better each season and clone wars kind of had a rough start so yeah it did it might just make it up there yeah, it's you definitely want it to be right on the same track or same path so i i wouldn't i haven't seen it all i've seen episodes here and there but i'm gonna probably sometime this year for sure definitely take time and kind of just binge it i was waiting for it to come out on netflix i don't know if that ever will soon but well season three is a little over halfway finished so at this point you might as well just wait till that's over yeah i I will i will for that but yeah i've Really heard nothing but good things, you know, minor criticisms, but overall yeah. the, the message has been positive, so that's good to hear. Cause it feels like Star they're, Wars. They're just more like where Clone Wars kind of helps redeem the prequels. Yeah. This is just giving even more insight to what was going on during those periods of time. Yeah, and it's it's starting to kind of tie more closely into Rogue One, because like I've yeah. said, Saw Gerrera showed on yeah, of course. With, with his lazy eye. <laughs> Look at my lazy eye. <laughs> it was him. It's so lazy, man. <laughs> was that Kit Fisto? A little bit. <laughs> I like it. Where's he? Oh, yeah, he's dead. Aww. That character. Aww. It's all fleshed out. And then not anymore because it's Disney. Aww. Hey, Kit Fisto was awesome. He was. He was green. I don't know. That's probably your favorite Jedi. Possibly. My favorite Jedi is Ayla Secura. Of course. Female Jedi. Yes. Ah, Brief good old Bloobies. One, kinda, sorta. Who? Ayla. A little bit. When? Not really her, but... Oh, no. Yeah. I wish it was. Yeah. I mean, yeah, close enough. I guess I'll take it. I'm not gonna be racist, but all Twi'leks kinda look the same to me. <laughs> Uh, oui, oui. There's nothing that yeah, there's nothing I can really say Sacre to. Bleu. Get it? I, I don't know why. Why? Okay, that is one <laughs> thing about Clone Wars I will go into. Yeah, what was no. up with the stereotypes? <laughs> well, I mean, it kind of was keeping in line with the prequels. You had Watto <laughs> as <Gio>. true, <laughs> and they have to, sugar they have to speak English so little kids, since the show is made for little kids, so they can understand instead of have subtitles which yeah, they would have even Greedo showed up and talked in english at one yeah. point on there but it's you know understandable it's not, it's not meant for but still kids, it's like though. kit fisto yeah is jamaican <laughs> and he has dreads like come on yeah but hey, it's george whatever. for you yeah we love him we love to hate him yeah <laughs> george's hasbro hasbro's george yeah <laughs> i'm more with the hasbro hasbro wants me <laughs> And um, besides that, upcoming purchases, I'm on a bit of a Lego kick. Uh oh. Because I got Lego Dimensions, and that's a lot of fun. And then like that's your new Disney Infinity. Yeah, like I've said, it's, it's filled the void in my heart because it they don't look like they're going to be stopping anytime soon. It's making money. It's an easy platform for movie adaptations instead of making a whole new game for it. And Lego Batman's coming out. Yes, so, sooner. Yes, like I can't believe it's yeah. I can't believe it's already next month. Yeah, double feature with John Wick. Yep, we're bringing Dave. Of course, <laughs> I'm bringing Dave. Of course, I'm bringing Dave to John Wick. Of course, <laughs> gosh, he's gonna finish the movie. That'd be so wizard. 
Kitster's in John Wick. What if Kitster becomes John Wick? Oh, man. That'd be so weird. I want that. Be wizard. Yeah. So, be so weird. So wizard. I want, I want that movie. I don't know how it would work. I don't care. Just, no, just... it... Anything with Kitster. <laughs> I don't care what franchise yes. you put him in. Just make it happen. It will make everything better. Even if something that's great, it'll just go to a, another beyond level you didn't know was even reachable. Give us like a... Um, you know how like Hamlet is a thing? Yeah. There was another one. It's called Rosencrantz and Something Are Dead. And it's like a side story that takes place alongside Hamlet. <laughs> what is this? A Ham- Hamlet cinematic what? universe? Yeah. So give us that. Make it a new hope from Kitster's view. Yeah, because he, he owns a hotel in Tatooine during that time. Yeah. In the Legends world. And he actually can. makes an appearance in the, the book Tatooine Ghost meets Leia go. and Han. Yeah. So it's, yeah, there's precedent for it. Yeah. <laughs> they can make that canon. Yeah. Why not? Owns a, owns a haunted owns a, owns a haunted hotel. Those exist. Yeah. I mean, they did, so they can exist again. I don't know. So it's Kitster. Kitster. Kitster everywhere. Yes. Now. What about your uh, upcoming purchases? Uh, definitely gonna pick up some new Power Rangers yes. for the movie in March. I will bring those next time because I will have those with me. I might have one too. Yeah, the they have like the regular like six or seven inch ones for like ten bucks. I'll I'll definitely get a couple of those and probably a box of those, and then I might get the maybe like one twenty dollar one kind of. Yeah. It's like a multiverse or black series of that. Of course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know which one I'll get first, but I'll definitely be buying some of those. Right. <laughs> thinking I might try to gradually collect all the Megazords. Yeah. But after the movie is released. Yeah. Because like that, I've seen, we've seen the full design. Mm-hmm. I'm on the fence about it. it. Like, I really have to see it in motion to know whether or not I'll love it or hate it. And it could go either way. Yes. Because there's things about the design. Yeah, with like that, because, so. especially because it's going to be a good chunk of change. Oh, yeah. So you, you want to make sure you like it going yeah. into it. Or at least, or at least be sold totally. Yeah, even if like I don't like the movie, if that's a cool scene with the Megazord. Yeah, just like, like with like the Batman v Superman toys I have. Yeah. Not everyone loved it. They're better than the movie in some ways. Yeah. You've got like Luthor and Power Armor and one like the three pack with Batman. And yeah, Superman. there's there's so many different yeah. costumes and outfits. It's pretty pretty cool. Yeah, it's a great toy line. Yeah. That's, and they're kind of like they're always stocked. Yeah. Because it, it Cause must no have one, yeah. No one Still, man, if I was younger, yeah, like if I was a little kid, I would be. It's still, bad. I would have Superman. every single one of those, but I just haven't been buying them recently because I've been wanting to get more Star Wars and and like Reason. I know they're always there, but when they finally leave, You'll that's when I'll them. be like, oh shoot, should have got it. Yeah, because it's <laughs> every store we go to, you see them. Yeah, and they're relatively cheap, so yeah, there's really no excuse. Yeah, it's just it's just not wanting to. So maybe I will buy one. <laughs> Just one day to help them out for in between our episodes. It's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I keep seeing that Lex Luthor power armor. One day I'm just gonna get it. I know it's like I don't even want to like this, but it's yeah. it's too cool not to. Because I mean, you can barely tell. It's like it's it doesn't even look like Jesse Eisenberg. So no, it, you know, it's Lex, not Jesse. Yeah, it's Lex. <laughs> maybe I could put a little goatee on it, pretend it's Heisenberg. Yeah, uh, Heisenberg. <laughs> We'll or just do a custom one and be like, no, this is Cranston. This is what Cranston was going to be. Yeah. He's going to show up in Justice League in the power armor and just, like, crush. He's him. going to be Zordon. Yeah, there we go. Just have the, the universes cross. <laughs> Might as well. But he'll also be Lex Luthor. Yeah. Just, you know, Eddie Murphy it. Yep. <laughs> because he's relevant. Yeah. Still like him. You could, I mean, you could say he Tyler Perry it. <laughs> That's All right, no, we'll, we'll stay. With, we'll stay with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Outside of outside of Garn Girl, I don't really need that much TP in my life. No, no. But yeah, I guess not. it's pretty safe to say most of us are pretty pumped for Power Rangers in yeah. March. I can't believe it's I know, almost it's... time because, like, I've been looking up 
these toys since May, like wondering when they would come out. It's like how now they're just you know, there, yeah, everywhere. Now it's going to be available, and you know, I figured, kind of like Batman v Superman, yeah. another March release last year, first of the year, Makes started sense. coming everywhere, going, and you couldn't miss them. So yeah, I'm coming everywhere. Yeah. That has these toys to buy them. Oh yeah, Annie. Annie, hey, hey it's like, Power, Power, Power Ranger, baby, Kimberly. <laughs> There's no Green Ranger. <laughs> that's Green Ranger. I'm, that's something I'm a little. Will we see the Green Ranger? Yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about because I wanted I want the Green Ranger in this design. Tommy, 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 Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. 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 I'm thinking. Because Rita's got the the color scheme, and she's meant she you know in the trailer she says she's dealt with rangers before. Yeah, I'm thinking she probably was a Green Ranger who went rogue and killed all the other rangers, or she killed the current Green Ranger, and like took his mm. armor. Because that is so blatantly the Green Ranger color scheme. Oh, of course. Yeah, he he's gonna be connect. It's gonna be connected. There's gotta be green ranger. somehow. There will either post credits or end of the movie. Yeah. Some type of Easter egg. Maybe he'll just like show up like Thanos and just yeah. not say anything because they haven't cast an actor yet. Just like kind of yeah. turn his head. Because you you know something will have oh, to yeah. go down for sure. Yeah, you can't do Mighty Morphin without no. the Green Ranger. You can do Power Rangers in space without the Green Ranger. You can do whatever ninja animal Dino fucking whatever. You can whatever do that. They're doing. You can do that without the green samurai. Ranger. Yeah, <laughs> samurai ninja dino thunder. Whatever. Yeah. But you can't do Mighty Morphin without it. Yeah. No, okay, it's cool fitting stuff. to have the original 5 because Tommy wasn't introduced yet till yeah. later in the season. You can start the movie out like that. Absolutely. And then going forward because you know they're going to make more movies. <laughs> yeah. Cuz this is going to make money. Oh yeah. I mean, for one thing, I think it's a little bit... Little kids. Little kids. It's us. also... It's a bit of a, like, change of pace from your typical Marvel, DC, Fox superhero Yeah, movie. it's a nice little break, yeah. so to speak. Like, it's still in that kind of bubble, but it's, like, yeah. it's a little bit on the outer outer rim, yeah. so to speak. So, it's, yeah. it's different enough. Kind of like Ninja Turtles last year, but that didn't do very well. It wasn't terrible, but... I, I still haven't seen either of them. It's just, it doesn't get enough of, it's just mainly for kids. Yeah. Not to say Power Rangers isn't, but there's enough interest from oh, yeah. kids our age and even older that grew up with Power Rangers. They're definitely that are really curious. That demographic. Yeah. And like, I... Whereas, even in the, the new Ninja Turtle stuff, it looks like it's for kids. Oh, yeah. They don't really, they don't really throw that much for our age. No. Whereas Power Rangers looks to... At least do that with some action. And... Oh yeah, because like, I, I grew, I watched Power Rangers growing up. It, Power Rangers in Space is the one I'm kind of closest to, mm-hmm. just because I remember that's the one I watched the most. But I'm not too precious on the lore, as long as they've got, like, as long as they get the action right and you know the banter, the characters. I don't care if it's like a different yeah. story. And yeah, obviously it's similar. But... And when they announced this movie, I thought it would be just. Ty- typical kind of kiddie movie. Yeah. Not really going to appeal to us. Might see it just just because I'm a was a big fan growing up, yeah. but not ex- no expectations going into it. Pretty much. I was like, "Oh, they're they're really rebooting this?" Yeah. I mean, I knew it was inevitable. You see who they cast. Yeah. You see the first costumes released, designs. I'm like, "Wow." Yeah. This could be all right. It just keeps looking better and better than yeah. it deserves to be. Trailers I'm pretty happy with yeah the toy yeah. line looks good so far too. yeah toy line I, I knew i wanted to collect after i saw the the designs. art designs so yeah i was one of those people that was on board with the designs from the start yeah pretty A much pretty much just them. waiting now to actually see it yeah which is going to have its share of criticism and oh yeah naysayers I mean, but now they've, they've kind of set the bar high for that because if it was going to be like almost a Ninja Turtle release, Yeah, it kind of would have been like, oh, you saw that? Yeah, it was bad. Yeah. It wouldn't have been as much outrage. Power Rangers is going to elicit a response from people one yeah. way or another. Yeah, and definitely. It's not going to be like a Ghostbusters thing where it's just thriving on controversy. No. People are going to have things to say about this movie, 
and it's going to make money because of that one way or another. Yeah, I'm expecting a pretty big weekend, opening yeah. weekend from it. I don't know if I'll see it on opening weekend. I'll have to, you know, depending on what my schedule is. But I think Life comes out that weekend as well, that sci-fi I do want to see that, too. So I might pull a double. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, good movies coming out on the same day this year. Yeah. And they're not necessarily, you know, superhero or, like, epic yeah. tales. It's, they just look like good, pure movie like Life does. Yeah, like... Yeah, they've got and they've got some of them, obviously, but like, uh-huh. I forget what it is in like the same day, in like October or November is like. I'm sure, my, something comes out when Blade Runner does. Yeah, I think it's Blade Runner, My Little Pony, <laughs> and something else. And we like, have to review that, right? Obviously, it's a toy movie. <laughs> yeah, or like whether we want to or not. Yeah, we just we have no choice. We'll review the gym and the holograms one day too. One day. If one of us ever makes the plunge and buys it when it's in the dollar bin. I have it downloaded. So now. Okay, that works too. <laughs> I haven't watched it. I haven't da- I've had it downloaded for like 10 months. Still haven't gotten around to it. Just bite the bullet. Yeah. And it was free too. It's like free download on my computer. It's still. Yeah. It's, you is know it, how is those it, is it outrageous? torrents are. Yeah. Is it outrageous? Was the torrent outrageous? I mean, the process of downloading. The torrent was like, seriously, you you want to download this? <laughs> and I was like, I, I guess. That's what happened when I watched Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> I'm sure one of those is better than the other. We'll have to find out. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's it's, a lot of toy movies we can review yeah, this year. I'm looking forward to Batman, Transformers. Yeah. Which, you know, it's not going to be good, but who cares? Yeah. I've yeah. given up on that at this point. Yes, yeah, and that's kind of the sad part because a lot of big time Transformer fans like yourself just can't connect with the movies. No. They haven't done a good job. They haven't really. It's really just. They haven't really matter. paid any type of respects. I feel to yeah. the long time fans, even the the fans that were like kids in the eighties that grew oh, up yeah. with the show. I mean, it's there's gonna be like it, it's just a movie where you're like, I just want to see the thing I like on screen. I don't. Yeah really care about the plot or the acting if i see yeah, the thing i want trying see. to make us care too much about unnecessary things yeah i mean i can tell you the plot right now there's an artifact from the transformers that left on earth and they gotta go find it before the other guys find it and marky mark's gonna help them and then a thing happens you don't expect can't and wait everything's fine at the end can't wait Does that sound familiar because it's every transformers movie Two is the worst. There's like, this is the fifth one. Yeah. I feel like I've seen it ten times. Yeah. Just because it's the same thing over and over. Oh, yeah. That said, I will buy it on Blu-ray because I bought every other one. Unless yeah. this one's just like worse than two, like worse than Kinda Dragon Ball like Evolution. like me with superhero movies. Yeah. I have to get them all just <laughs> for my collection. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's, there's other ones we're probably missing, but just in my general. Little Pony. Yeah. yeah. Don't. Uh, for the podcast purposes, <laughs> maybe, of course. Maybe on like a an early afternoon when the bronies aren't around, because I don't want to be in a I don't want to be in a crowded theater with those. No, the the best way to see kids' movies is to go really late. Yeah, go to the latest showing because they're generally most kids have a bedtime. Yeah, so. <laughs> but then you got the like the brony crowd, so yeah. it's kind of it's kind of hard to figure out for that. one. you got to go when kids are in school and they're oh, yeah. asleep. Yes. I'm sure it'll be fine. Maybe. Sure. <laughs> but if we have enough Toy Isle fans by then yeah. that want us to review it as is our rightful duty, we <laughs> shall. Yeah, if you if you want it, we'll do it. We'll, we'll go see that. We'll, we'll review anything. We'll pretty watch, much. We'll yeah. pretty much watch anything. <laughs> if, if That's true. somebody wants to review, we'll... Pretty much do it. Yeah, that's true. I own Kirk Cameron Saving Christmas. Yeah, I'll watch anything. Yeah, I, I will too. So, <laughs> at least once. Yeah, you got to yeah. try everything once oh, yeah. in life. I mean, with with toys. Yeah, and shitty toy movies. Yeah. <laughs> Any other purchases you're looking forward to? Uh, the big thing is Power Rangers right now. Obviously, yeah. I'm gonna continue to get Star Wars stuff, new and old. Blade Runner, like we spoke about. 
course, the NECA. Yeah. When that happens. And I might try to pick up a NECA figure within the next few months, just if money's looking all right. Yeah. Because it's different when you're spending 25 bucks on a toy that, you know, you want to make sure you really want it and like it, whereas pop figures and, like, three and three-quarter Star Wars, yeah, I can get, like, two of those, and yeah. be, I'll be all right. I won't couldn't be hurting. No, I mean, then the pop figures just kind of, you just stack them, it's like, that looks yep. neat, you know. Yeah, it looks cool. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I might, I have a, I have the Darth Maul first pop figure they Ooh. released, so I might want to go ahead and get that new one, is that like Walmart a, exclusive. Is it a Clone Wars one? Or no, it's it just a regular kind of, like, okay. just episode one. Um, what I was going to mention, I don't know if it's out yet, the wa- another Walmart exclusive, have you seen the three packs, the new ones are that are coming out. Pop figures? Yeah. I haven't. The Walmart exclusive three pack. Kind of like how they had the Jabba one. Yeah. Oh. They're doing another one, which it's going to have Hammerhead, uh, Walrus Man, and Greedo. Huh. But all as pop figures in their vintage line. So like when the actual, their action figure was released for A New Hope in 78, that's what they're going to look like with the design. Nice. So it's going to be that light, really light, bright green oh, yeah. suit for Greedo, <laughs> then Hammerhead and Walrus Man. So that looks really cool. I, I kind of want to pick that up. Yeah, that's. I, I like stuff like that. Kind of like how like Han Solo had a bright blue jacket in yeah. his original Empire. Uh, Empire yep. toy, and that inspired, um, what's his name? Captain... Uh, Andor? Yeah. I don't remember all the characters from Rogue Cassie and Andor. It's admittedly not a very character-driven movie. But <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But. That's not a problem for yeah. me. Yeah, that's, a, that's a, another kind of cool tribute Star Wars will do. Yeah. Even with the prequels. Even with the prequels. So, Where is our like pop figure of Jar Jar with his Senate robes and like lightning bow? I'm waiting. That was a toy that was released. Oh, uh, still haven't got it. Me either. <laughs> but, and there were, Walmart's also releasing another exclusive three-pack from Revenge of the Sith. Ooh. They're doing Tarful, the Wookiee. Yes. Uh, one of the clone troopers from Utapau with a different color, yeah. and then the Emperor with the lightning. Unlimited! Yes. <laughs> oh! Ah! I'm too old. I'm too old. I'm too old for this pop figure. I'm too old. Uh, known as Darth <laughs> Vader. I will do whatever you tell me. Is it possible to learn this power? Baby, there's sand outside. <sighs> Gets everywhere. But yeah, they're having yeah. those two Walmart exclusives, which is... I'm going to keep an eye out for those. Yeah, especially that vintage. Yes. That's really cool. I would have never expected Funko to do that. Yeah. Not that I don't trust Funko. It's just seems like a kind of really thing old that, school. Which seems is like awesome. a thing Disney would kind of put a stop to or like not allow to some extent because a little bit, yeah. They they do seem to be sticking with the special editions. Yeah. They. I don't. I don't get them at times. Yeah. It's like why not embrace that part of awesomeness that you all created. I mean, I have... That Lucasfilm created. I have heard that, like, Fox still technically owns the original yeah. cuts, so that's probably the whole thing. Maybe they can kind of... Yeah, that's true. Maybe they can, like, all right, we'll take the rights of those back, but we'll also do you the favor of taking Fantastic Four off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I'm... Either way, I'm surprised that they're doing it, so I'm going to keep an eye out. It'll probably be 30 bucks, which... Isn't bad, because that's... I'm, yeah, I'm willing to spend that for that, figures. yeah. And the and the display box is neat. Yeah, if it's anything like the Jabba one. Jabba, Rancor, and yes. all that. So, yeah, that's another thing I'll be keeping my eye on, for sure. Um, but in terms of definite buys, Power Rangers and Star Wars, Obviously. of course. Of course. The usuals. I'm going to buy the Power Rangers, of course. Any, any more for you, or any uh, big no. times you're looking at? Um, like I said, more Lego. I actually found, from one of the Lego Batman trailers, like, they put together this kind of four-legged robot thing. Mm -hmm. It's called the Scuttler, and it's, like, 80 bucks. I found it on on eBay for, like, half that price, and they just, you know, aren't including the minifigures, which is fine, because I've got 
Batman mini minifigures. Yeah. So I got that. I might kind of like a yeah. Keep your eye on maybe. Yeah, it'll probably show up on my Instagram. Yeah, if I'm not wanting to spend forty bucks on this Revan yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's our white whale now. He is. <laughs> Yar, <I> spotted the <laughs> Revan. <laughs> It exists, eh? <laughs> hey, you uh, found a revenant. Hey. <laughs> you used to work for me. <laughs> uh, you find a revenant that belongs to me because I own you. What my judge go? <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm going to be buying Lego Batman stuff because the movie looks badass. Yeah. I can't imagine it disappointing me. I highly doubt it. Yeah. That weekend of movies. Oh, yeah. And... I might just be a Jake and pick up a John Wick pop figure if I come across one. Hey, it looked cool. It did. I gotta give him props. Yeah. Really captured the Keanu in that, like, NECA should standard. come out with some yes, John Wicks. Yes, they should. That would, that's, like, perfect for what they, the kind of designs they do. Yeah. With action, and action should, stars. And he should come with the bulldog. Yeah. Or the pit bull. The dog. The dog from, spoiler alert, at the end of the movie. <laughs> but, yeah, I think, uh... NECA definitely would be a yeah, they're one to keep the an top eye on. contender for. Yeah. Need more John Wick merchandise. I figure if this second one is a hit, we'll start getting it. Yeah, they at least got a pop figure, so that's always the start. It's you, the start. you know it's you, entry level. you're doing something you're to you know you're grab doing the something. attention of one one line of toy makers, so Well, I mean if one person will buy it, pop figure will make it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause but even said, there's still some cult kinda Movies and shows that haven't been made yet. Yeah. That I w- would expect. But yeah, like you said, yet. Yeah. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter mm-hmm. of when. Wait for my Happy Days figures, man. Come on. Give me some Fonzie. <laughs> sure, it's, it's probably in the pipeline at this point. Yeah, they're, probably they're, just they're, they're, their, they're probably so backed up right now. Yeah. Just chronologically working, working their, their way Working back their factory all people the to death. Sitcoms, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they've got Voltron. Yeah. I can't believe with how, like, soon some of those have come out. I know. They already have Stranger Things yeah. coming out. So, yeah. anything's keep... possible these days with toys. Which Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just buy it. I need to. <laughs> <laughs>